Hello friend, myself Sanjeev Divedi on behalf of Vidyalankar Institute of Technology. I welcome you all in this Java session. In this session, we are going to talk about this keyword and super keyword. Now let's first talk about this keyword. Now what is this keyword? Uh, whenever uh, it, it goes something like this, let us take one example. We will understand it better. Uh, now, okay. Now suppose we have class A. Now suppose I'm having class A. Now let's say class A has two data member, X and Y. And let's say we have a parameterized constructor or we can have set function also. Here let me have set function. So here we have public void set. And let's say it's int P comma int Q. And we say X equals to P and y equals to q and let me have another function let me have another function display we have void display so it says system dot out dot print ln x equals to some x and sop y equals to y this is normally we write okay this is end of class in main suppose i create object like this now in main i uh, i do something like this a a1 equals to new a and and a a2 equals to new a and then i'm calling set function with a1 a1 dot set n comma 20 and a2 dot set 30 comma 40 and if i want to display the value i'll display something like this a1 dot display and a2 dot display now the point is now when i call when i call this a1 dot set the set method is called for object a1 this 10 is assigned to P, 20 is assigned to Q. Now, and when A2 call set method passing 30 and 40, this 30 is assigned to P and 40 is assigned to Q. So the same set method is called for two different objects, A1 and A2. Now, the, my point is how the set method will come to know that I have been called by object A1 or I have been called by object A2. Now, this is very interesting. Now, what happens is, now what happens is, Whenever we have, whenever we have a non-static method, including constructor. Now constructors are non-static method. The data members, see X and Y are data members of class. The data members are implicitly accessed using this keyword. We specify it or not. Hum likhe ya na likhe, non-static data member hamisha non-static function mein this keyword ke saath hi likha jata hai. Hum likhe ya na likhe, system usko aise treat karta hai. To yahan bhi display mein mene yahan pe plus x likha hai. System usko kaise treat karta hai? It is actually this dot x and this dot y. Now ye this kya hai? Ye keyword hai. C++ ke this pointer jaisa. What will happen is, whenever an object calls a method, here a1 calls set method, and then a2 calls set method. Whenever an object invokes the method, reference of the calling object is passed to the method. So when a1, so here we will have two objects. Here we will have two objects for a1 and a2. Let the address be 2020-3030. Now, when a1 calls set method, the address of a1 is passed. So basically, this this is nothing but 2020. So system identifies that this x is actually because a1 and a2 will both will have x and y. So here a1 will have x, y, even a2 will have x and y. So this value is this x is of 2020x. So the 10 is assigned here and 20 is assigned here but when same a2 is calling set function so here yeah, instead of 10 it will be 30 it will be now 40 and this keyword now refers to address 3030 this keyword now refers to address 3030 so it becomes 3030x and 3030y 
so the value 30 and 40 are assigned to a2x and a2y so it means that whenever remember this this is a keyword that is implicitly used in a in every non-static uh, method so whenever you have a non-static method and you are accessing the data member it will be referred by using this now you may ask a question sir aapne kaha ki aap likhe ya na likhe it's okay now is there any is there any case where it is mandatory to write is there any case where it is mandatory to write yes it is and it is something like this now if you have something like this so here now here suppose see x and y are your non static data member non static data members are also known as instance variables and now suppose here if you write x and y so the, these are local data member x and y so if you have this kind of arrangement x equals to x and y equals to y so now your instance variable and local variable name is same so it creates an ambiguity so in such case it, it becomes a mandatory to write your instance variable using this keyword so now here the writing this dot x equals to x this dot y equals to y is mandatory now here in this case you may not specify this dot x this dot y but it is implicitly there so what we need to understand is whenever an object invokes a method reference of a calling object is passed to the method and that is referred using this keyword so let's see what is it sometime a method will need to refer to the object that has invoked it so basically this always refers to the calling object now that, that is this is always a reference to the object in which a method is invoked and we can use it anywhere to refer the calling object now here see uh, even for constructor this dot box why it is written so because this constructor box will be called for the object for which it is i mean when that object is created so here uh, this dot with equal to w uh, it, it's not necessary to specify this here because the instance variable name with and the local variable name w is different but the only purpose of writing here is even though it is different my system will always treat with like this dot width this dot height and this dot depth this is how it is now what is uh, like the way i said what is the primary use here it becomes mandatory to write because here my local variable name is width height and depth and my instance variable name is width height and depth now if here if i simply write width equals to width height equals to height then it becomes difficult so here it is mandatory because if the local variable name is same as that of instance variable then local variable will hide instance variable it means that in this method it means that in this method this width this width will hide this width so to identify the instance variable width we must access it using this keyword let's see see when a local variable has the same name as instance variable the local variable hides the instance variable this is why width height and depth are not used as parameter in box construction if they have been then width would have referred the local so it would have hidden the instance variable in such cases the instance variable are explicitly accessed using this keyword so in such case, I mean, this is not compulsory. It is ideally we program with this. We don't write this. But in such case, if we make a culture, we make that our local variable and our instance variable are the same. Are same then we must specify this keyword. So this is about uh, this keyword in Java. Now we will see uh, next topic in next video. So for details, do refer the reference book Java to Complete Reference by Herbert Schild. Thank you.